वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नो सर्च इन यूट्यूब चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर टुडे वी हैव द न्यूज रिगार्डिंग आर एक्स सेवेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स टी एंड एक्स टी एक्स एस यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन ह्यू एस यूज हैज बिन लॉन्चिंग इट्स कस्टम कार्ड एंड इट्स हियर आर एक्स सेवेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स टी एक्स एस यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन हियर इट्स मेड बाई एस यूज एंड इट्स एस यू स्टफ गेमिंग रेडियो एन आर एक्स सिक्सटी सेवेंटी नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स टी एक्स ओ सी एडिशन ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी जी डी रेगा सिक्स ऑप्टिमाइज इन सेड एंड आउट फॉर लोअर टाइम्स एंड ड्यूरेबिलिटी triple slot is uh, it's two slot design with triple fans and it says like it's overclockable so it can reach up to 3 gigahertz boost which is to be which is what we saw in the leaks where rdna3 is capable of going to 3 gigahertz as of now so it's pretty nice to see like oem pop cards can go can reach that and also expand it over it so it's pretty nice to see along with it uh, red power and power color also red power color also has its custom card as you can see on the screen here it is called red devil and it looks awesome but from it it looks like 3.5 to 3.8 slot design and it has a triple 8 pin connector so if it has a triple 8 pin it can clearly go higher than 3 gigahertz we still don't know how much overclock it will get but it's seen on amd ryzen 7950x like Intel 7000 series is going to get a price cut as of now. As during Black Friday, it was selling for less amount, but now it is going to get a price cut, which can make AM5 motherboards justifiable as of now. But they are getting massive price cuts, upwards of 150 to 250 dollars over all the SKUs, which is a nice thing to see. Uh, but we still don't know. It might be later down the year because the GPU chip, because the CPU is not selling that good. Along with it, we have news regarding. performance and stuff but first of all we can say like RX 7900 XT is pretty solid offering as you can see on the screen here it uh, AMD has confirmed like RX 7900 XT will get more supply as you can see according to the latest news from the supply chain AMD has been indeed been increasing order for RX 7900 XT series in order to allow more users to buy them in the first place and complete so it's pretty nice to see like they are doing it and according to the latest statement from people in the supply chain the first supply of R1700 XT will be much better than RX RTX 40 series which is uh, nice to see because we know still know like RTX 40 series is pretty scarce to find even though it goes for very high price uh, compared to their retail pricing but you can get some of the 17 uh, RTX 4080 series 40 series relatively on the same msrp as you can see nvidia's 4080 shipment units were 30000 4090 was 1 lakh 30000 and total shipments was once uh, 160000 but then also rtx 40 series is pretty hard to find so yeah it's pretty nice like 7900 series 7000 rx 7000 series will be having day 1 and along with it you will have much more stock which is a nice thing to see and given the fact like if the next story is true our our x79 79 xt and xtx a clear competition to rtx series rtx 4080 because we already know like it crushes rtx 4080 in average of 8 games but given the pricing of rtx 4080 it's too much but rtx rtx uh, RX 7900 XTX is starting at one thousand dollars, which is less, and this user from was able to recreate the test bed, which was AMD Ryzen 9 7900X 32 GPU and RTX 4080X 670E motherboard, which was the same setup he says as that in the during the live presentation of RX 7900 series, uh, and he just used some benchmarking tools, which has games which has the inbuilt in build benchmarks because you can't clearly make the things like as so shown in the amt test but he c- confirms like he made that calculation and stuff and over the fact he say he says like rtx rx 7900 xt is clearly better than not clearly better but it is close to the performance of rtx 48 4090 and it is clearly like better option compared to rtx 480 series as of now but when you compare it in pure rasterization performance but when you compare it for ray tracing and stuff rtx is way ahead with dlss technologies and stuff but given the fact fsr 3.0 is coming very soon by next year 
AMD might have something up their sleeves, but we just need to wait and watch. But given the fact like RX 7900 and XTX is high performance compared to previous generation of RX 6900 XT, it is pretty nice to see. So yeah, that's it from me today. What do you think the, about the news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next one. Peace out.